Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the four different ways of how you'd be able to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, the great thing about having multiple different ways of taking a screenshot is that you never know what situation you pop into where one of these will just be a little bit more comfortable or just a little bit easier to take the screenshot. Now, the first one we will be talking about is the traditional way of taking a screenshot, which is the power and the volume down button. So all you have to do is just press and hold on the power and volume down just for a couple seconds. And then that is what initiates the screenshot. Now, there's one little small additional feature I do want to cover just in case if you need to capture more in the exact same screenshot. So instead of you taking a screenshot here, scrolling down, taking another screenshot, scrolling down, taking another screenshot, and now you have three separate images. I'm going to show you how you can put it all into one. Now this is going to definitely help out if you have a very long conversation. Maybe it is something that's personal. Maybe it's a funny story. Maybe it's something that is legal reasons. Whatever the case, what you're able to do is when you take your screenshot in any of these four different ways, you have the option down here where it says scroll capture and what scroll capture does is it allows to kind of capture more uh, information that was pretty much hidden meaning that it's able to scroll down and add that into this one image for you and then once you have all that done it also gives you the option that you can draw crop as well as share so let's just say that you wanted to see exactly that one image that I took even though I took about, you know, maybe five or six different screenshots into one. This is that image that you are now able to zoom into and you can use this as a reference in the future. So here is one of the different screenshots. Here's another screenshot. That's definitely another screenshot. Here's another screenshot. So you can kind of see how this will definitely come in handy. Now, if your device does not give you the option at the very bottom to do the scroll capture, you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. This is where you click on advanced features and then underneath advanced features, you see the option right here for smart capture. Make sure that you turn on smart capture because that is what this one right here states, capture hidden areas of the screen, which means that it's gonna be anything that is below what you are looking at. So once you have your smart capture turned on, that gives you the ability to capture more than what is just on your screen at that moment in time. Now moving on over into the second way of taking a screenshot. This is where it's gonna definitely come in handy if you're already holding the phone with one of your hands and you just wanna swipe across the screen. Now you wanna make sure that you're using basically the palm of your hand, pretty much karate chop it, and you're sliding your palm, the very bottom of your hand, all the way across the screen. So you're not just hovering over the screen, you're literally touching the screen from edge to edge and that is what allows you to take your screenshot. Now if you notice when I took a screenshot right now where that scroll capture was not an option it's only because there's no way that i'm able to basically scroll down this window of the home page now if i was on a different website maybe i was in text messages or anything else then it would give me that option for scroll capture now to turn on the palm swipe to capture again you want to move over into your settings you're going to go over into your advanced features and then when you scroll down you have the option right here for the palm swipe to capture and it states right here that you can swipe your palm either left or right doesn't matter which way it is and it is able to take the screenshot but you're not able to use this gesture while the screen keyboard is on. So if you're inside of a text message and your keyboard has popped up, this feature right here will not be able to work at that moment in time. Just hit that little down arrow when that little keyboard goes away. Now you're able to take a screenshot with your palm swipe. Now, the third way of taking a screenshot was one that was added in with the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8. And again, here on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, and that is with the Bixby button. So if you have yours activated to where you just press it one time and it's able to listen to you, um, or if you have it you know, related with you with speech where you can say, hey, Bixby, how I have mine set up is that I have to press and hold for it to follow a command. So through Bixby, I'm able to say, take a screenshot. And so now it's captured and you just hit on great. And then if you want to check that on out, you just, all you have to do is head over into your gallery. And then there is that additional screenshot. And you can see that we've taken a couple. This one is with the additional traditional way. This one is going to be with the palm swipe to capture, palm swipe to capture. And then this one was Bixby. Now, the very last way of taking a screenshot is one that's just a little bit more customizable. And to be honest, it's the one that I use majority of the time, which is by going over into the edge panel. And with using one of the edge panels over here, you have an option for smart select. And this is where I choose rectangle. Now, if you don't have smart select added into your edge panel, that's definitely one that I suggest. 
because in this way, if I wanted to share maybe just this little bit of area here of these three different applications, once you hit on done, now you're able to share out with the world exactly what you want to share if you don't want your entire screen. Maybe this is just a football score, a baseball score. Maybe you're doing some NCAA, you know, March Madness bracket stuff. You just want to share something on the internet and you don't even care for it to even be stored on your phone. This is where you selected what you wanted to share and then you hit on share. Now, if you do want to have this thing stored on your phone, just hit on save and then it's just right back to the, the everyday stuff of having a screenshot. But I don't want to bog down my phone with all these different screenshots when really in all actuality, I just want to share something on the internet, get something across to get my point done and then move on. So once you do share this, just hit the back button just a couple times and you're right back to square one where nothing is stored in your phone, but you were able to get this thing shared on the internet. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, you can do that right over here with this little red circle and make sure you share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.